Hi, I'm Dan. If you've been playing my games, then you probably may have seen that about three months ago, I teamed up with some cool people to make a game called Torch Guy. The game was received mostly positive, aside from some confusion and some mechanics not meshing well together. It was overall top 100 in the Black Time Prod game jam, and a portion of the gameplay even got to be in Black Time Prod's video. So, huge thanks to him for hosting the jam and playing our game. After the jam has ended, Wolfenrad, Rakuza Studios, and I discussed about making a devlog and updating the game, though it's been quite a while already and we still haven't made one. Hence, that's why I woke up today to make a quick short devlog about the initial development of Torch Guy, what went right, what went wrong, what I've learned from it, and the future of it. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, it was actually before the jam that I wanted to make a game about torches because they can be used not only as a light source, but also as a weapon. The main problem was that I was quite busy at the time to start working on new projects. So once I saw the announcement for the Black Knight Prod game jam, I went on to Discord and asked if anyone wanted to join me in making a game, and sure enough, Wolfenrad responded and decided to join in. When the jam had started, we instantly began scrambling ideas. The theme was... Less is more. We thought of many ideas, but that's when I remembered about my idea of torches. So I thought about it more and said to myself, why don't we just make a game about torches? And I explained my idea to Wolfered and he agreed on it. Since it was a week long jam, I was confident enough that we could make a roguelike game which ended up being the main genre of it. For the art style, we wanted to make it simple and unique at the same time, therefore we thought of having a 2.5D style environment and each sprite having a resolution of 16 by 16 pixels, which would have allowed us to have a lot of art content for the game, keeping it simple but stylish at the same time. When it came down to choosing our roles, I was going to be the gameplay programmer, while Wolfrad was going to be the artist and the composer for the game. Make sure to give a listen to the full original soundtrack of our game in the description down below. So I started out by making a new project and writing a script for the player's movement and making a simple player prototype. Here is how it looked like. While I was talking to the other participants of the game jam, we decided to name him Baba Boy. After that, I made a simple enemy AI and later on went to Discord. There, I saw that Rakuza Studios wanted to join the Blackthorn Prod game jam as well, so I asked if he would like to join our team. And what was a team of two people now became a team of three people. And Rakuza Studios was going to do the sound effects, enemies, and UI art for the game. So that's how we pretty much started off. We basically wanted to have as much references to the theme as possible. The less health you have, the more damage you deal to enemies, the less torches you carry, the more faster you can move, the less hunger you have, the faster you can throw torches. Everything about the environment and the goal of the game got more clear as we were making the actual game. So we settled on making three main areas for the game which were the forest, the arctic, and the nether, each having their three levels, and each level having its own unique music. Your goal in each level is to reach a portal that would lead you to the next level. In each level, you will spawn on a corner of the map, and the portal will always be located on the corner that is diagonal to your spawning corner. So the map was essentially a square. And to get safely to the portal, you must get through different kinds of enemies that could potentially block your path and you have to use your torches to get past through enemies. Everything was going nice and smooth and other participants quickly started to realize that the game began to shape and look really nicely and that really motivated us during the development of this game. However, as the jam came closer to an end, things began getting a little out of hand I kept adding more features up until the very last hours of the jam, 
which was a very, a very bad idea. Jam lesson time. Always leave proper time for testing your game. Seriously, I should have ditched the idea of adding settings because I felt like that killed a lot of time and caused a lot of issues by the end of the jam. One of them were the sound effects, and they would play on the standalone versions of the game, but not on the web version, so I researched for hours, literally trying to fix the issue to only end up not finding a solution and wasting a lot of time. But later I found out that it was actually an issue with Unity, and so all I needed to do was download a newer version of Unity. And so, we published our game. Many people liked the features, the atmosphere, and the amount of polish the game had. Although, there were some fair criticisms and feedback provided from the players. It was pointed out that the combat needed some balancing because there was a lack of incentive to fight the enemies. Another issue was with the confusion of the gameplay and players not understanding the game mechanics. We discussed about making a tutorial during the development of the game, but due to lack of time, we just decided to add the tips section into the pause menu. That might have helped out some people, but for majority it was probably confusing. There was also an issue of repetitiveness, because the game was actually infinite and every three main areas repeat but get harder as you progress. We hope we can fix this by adding some more content into the game really soon. To conclude this devlog, we believe that this game could be improved and we already came up with a list of features to add in the future for the game. One confirmed feature to be added so far are toilets. Every awesome game deserves a toilet to be in it. But before we get into implementing the toilets, I'm going to refactor some scripts from the game which will be essential for easier implementation of some new content. So if you want to stay updated, make sure to join my Discord server, the link to it is down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out, goodbye.